You may be wondering, why should I use both THC and CBD? Because our study showed that co-use of CBD and THC had much more benefit than using either one by itself, and other studies have shown this as well. Well, there's something called the entourage effect, and that is when you use all the cannabinoids simultaneously, you get the best effect. There seems to be some kind of synergistic relationship where they just work together for more improvement. But does that mean that you need lots of THC and very little bit of CBD, or do you need just a tiny bit of THC and lots of CBD? We don't really know. Unfortunately, there aren't any large clinical trials that have looked at this, and it's very difficult to um, get to these nuances in questionnaire-based studies because people don't have a great understanding of what it is that they're taking due to a variety of factors. It could be the route of administration. It could be that the labeling isn't good, or it could be that people just don't pay attention, or they could be using something that somebody else got and they don't know what it is. So it's very hard right now to really hone in on what that ratio should be. Now, there have been studies with a pharmaceutical that's been approved in other countries called Sativex, which is a spray that goes underneath your tongue, and that's a one-to-one -one ratio of CBD to THC, which means that there are equal parts of CBD and THC. And it's been used for a variety of conditions like spasticity and multiple sclerosis. Does that mean it's going to work for you? I don't know, because at a one-to-one -one ratio, you still might feel the psychoactive effects of THC. Because what happens is, when you take THC and CBD together, the CBD tones down that psychoactive effect of, of THC. So some people, that one-to-one -one ratio is enough so that they don't get high. And for others, it's like there isn't even CBD there. And so there are formulations that are 30 to one of CBD to THC, meaning that there are 30 parts CBD, one part THC which would be very uncommon to be psychoactive, but very sensitive people still might feel that. And then there are all ratios in between. You can get a two to one, a three to one, a 10 to one. How do you know? Well, you're gonna to have to be a little bit of a, an experiment, N equals one, and maybe try some things. Again, you wanna start low, go slow. So my recommendation, speak to a medical professional so that you can tell them what medications you're on, what your conditions are that you're taking it for, so that you can talk to them about potential drug interactions. And then you want to find products that have a very high ratio of CBD to begin with. Take a very, very tiny dose and work your way up slowly. Keep a journal so that you know how you're doing and whether or not it's actually helping your condition and you can sort of make changes on the fly. I've been using medical cannabis for five years now to treat my condition of chronic pain and spasticity and uh, pain-induced insomnia, and my regimen has changed greatly over the years. As products get better, as my condition changes, I have to try new things to see what's gonna work best.